We all know cheats are currently ruining Counter-Strike for millions of players and you're probably also aware more or less of how the cheats work. You know, you get a piece of software, you run it on your computer or an external PC to retrieve game information you're not supposed to have and voila, you're a cheater. Now up until recently I thought this is the only way to gain an unfair advantage in the game However, an anonymous source recently reached out to me to share a way in which they've been able to consistently see through smokes. A vision bug similar to the old CSGO Nate smoke interaction. All without the use of any external software and all they needed was... an outdated GPU? I'm Kuzak and you're watching another video on related to case openings. In Counter-Strike 2, there is a lot more going on visually than in CSGO, so while in the previous iteration only a nades debris would trigger the bug, in CS2 there are a lot of ever-present effects which make it possible to see through a smoke permanently, as can be seen in this Mirage example. When I received the message from, let's call him Jeff, I instantly began scouring the internet for any mentions of this mysterious black smoke. And while I didn't find much, there were a few posts dating to as far back as July 2023. Some users managed to fix it by updating their GPU drivers, however it appears that not all graphics cards have received the fix, especially the ones that have fallen out of the supported list. Now from the posts I was able to find online, it appears that the GPUs from before circa 2014 are most commonly affected, which narrows down the affected players since there isn't many graphics cards from before then anyway that are capable of running CS2 at a comfortable frame rate. Now Jeff was very secretive about his specific specs due to being worried about getting found out, but from the details I've received, I believe he was using something in the region of a Radeon HD 7790 or a similar GPU from that era, as they were still able to get a steady 120 FPS. Other reporters of the bug on online forums also said that they had this happen on Radeon R7 and R9 series graphics cards, perhaps it's something related to AMD specifically, I really can't tell. If you're curious about what percentage of players would be affected by this, according to the Steam hardware survey, there's very few people using GPUs this outdated, which is probably why this issue hasn't been spoken about more wildly. But you know, all this made me wonder, would there be people out there claiming to be legit while using these old GPUs on purpose to gain an unfair advantage? It's impossible for me to answer this unfortunately, but I suppose there could be. I can just imagine a cheater wannabe grabbing an older GPU in a second hand shop instead of buying cheats from some unsavory websites. And I guess Valve really can't do much about it either since the drivers for these old graphics cards are simply no longer updated by the manufacturers. And trying to ban players simply for using a specific old graphics card would be frowned upon, especially if not all units of a specific model show the same behavior. However, manual overwatch and face it bans would most likely still occur if a repeat offender is found killing people through smokes, so I definitely wouldn't recommend trying this yourselves. Or, well, trying cheats in general, I mean, come on. Tell me, what do you guys think? Do you think it's a serious issue to the CS integrity? Or is this such a small issue in comparison to the wider cheating problems that it's pretty much irrelevant? Let me know in the comments, that's all for this video. Hope you learned something new and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye!